After a couple of days off, the Admirals were back out on the rink today. Yesterday, head coach John Cooper was named the AHL Coach of the Year. Today, another award for this unstoppable team. Mark Barbario is the AHL's Defenseman of the Year. The Ad Star Defenseman leads the league in assists. He took on the award for plays like this. The game-winning goal in last Tuesday's 2-1 win over the Penguins. The Ad's power play is second in the league, and Mark has led the way in scoring on the blue line when the Ads have an extra attacker, 37 points. He told me today it's a team award. I'm obviously an honor to, to get an award like that. I mean, if you look in the past, guys that have won that award, uh, there's a lot of good players, and um, to be among them, it's, it's pretty special. But, uh, you know, like you said, the team seems to be racking up a lot of awards. I just consider this another team award because I, my personal success, like I, the only reason I have any personal success is because the team has success and uh, the guys I play with make me better and, and uh, I'm a firm believer in that. He's 22 and that makes him the youngest player to win the award in 30 years. Dustin Tokarski likes having guys like Barbario in front of him. Tokarski is one of the league's best goalies and I talked to him and rookie Corey Conacher today about the awards Barbario and Coach Cooper picked up this week. Oh, well, he's, he's just a world-class player, you know, no one deserves it more than him. You know, he works harder than anyone and for him to get an award like that is outstanding and to have, uh, you know, that, that caliber of defenseman on our team and, you know, playing in front of me is just a real treat to have. And Coop, uh, you know, being a, a lawyer, uh, you know, back in the day and uh, it, the, just the way he talks to us in between periods just gets us going and, and, and that's why our third periods have been so, so good lately. And, uh, you know, those close games, that's why we're pulling out with, uh, with a strong third period and win those close games. And Admirals leave for Albany tomorrow night.